Good afternoon. This is uh, David Nixon, Town Administrator for the Town of Hadley, Massachusetts. And I'm giving the report as to the projects that are occupying our time and attention right now. Today is Friday the 17th of August and um, we're trying this for the very first time. This is our first uh, report uh, for projects. The list of projects is not ex intended to be exhaustive in scope or comprehensive in depth. I'm just going to touch upon the major issues that are happening and major projects that are happening in the town of Hadley. And I'd like to clump these into two categories. First would be the unfunded mandates that we have to adhere to, and the other would be the gifts and the benefits and the opportunities that state projects afford us in terms of improving transportation infrastructure and uh, operations. So to the fun unfunded mandates, these are mandates imposed without funding from either the federal or state level. And the first one is something that we've been talking about for a year. It's the MS4 Municipal Stormwater Permit. This is a permit that affects 260 communities in the town, in the Commonwealth. Uh, in Hadley, it affects the Route 9 corridor and the Lake Warner region. And the intent of the uh, US EPA to impose this mandate is to improve water quality in the Connecticut River and ultimately to the uh, Long Island Sound. Stormwater discharge has been identified as being a main contributor to contamination of water quality up and down the Connecticut River. And so whatever municipalities can do to control a, the amount of uh, stormwater discharge. Um, it's a five-year permit. Uh, it involves storm, stormwater infrastructure. And EPA is looking for us to clean up sources of nitrogen, phosphorus, bacteria and pathogens such as E. coli entering into the water uh, supply, soils and sediment, hydrocarbons such as motor oil that collects on the streets and gets captured by catch basins, and other contaminants such as heavy metals and, and, and the like. Uh, we have been working on this for the past year. We are well positioned in terms of internal funding as well as our regulatory compliance for this year. We have to submit a notice of intent to the Environmental Protection Agency by October 1st, and we have that completed. We've also taken a number of steps to jump on the next year's requirements. Next year's requirements will include development of a stormwater management plan. We need to complete the illicit discharge and detection and elimination procedures. We need to put in place construction site runoff controls, uh, catch basins, cleaning, street sweeping, winter road maintenance procedures, and stormwater infrastructure maintenance. So all of these are coming up. Uh, it would be nice if there were grants available to this or state or federal funding, but there aren't. It is a requirement and there are penalties for non-compliance. So we are doing the right thing, although begrudgingly. The second unfunded mandate is a new requirement that we, uh, cities and towns, adhere to the OSHA safety standards, which cities and towns were formerly uh, exempt from. Instead of OSHA, we had to comply with the Massachusetts Workplace Safety and Health Program, which had OSHA-like uh, uh, standards, um, but now OSHA applies. Again, there's no funding for this. It's a requirement that we need to meet by February 1st, 2019. We are working with our, our insurance company, the Massachusetts Interlocal Insurance Agency, in order to uh, uh, meet our obligations. Those obligations will be enhanced reporting of workplace safety issues, worker injury issues, and uh, we probably have to invest in some capital improvements, particularly for the fire department. This the fire department seems to be singled out for special scrutiny. Uh, we take workplace and worker safety seriously here in the town of Hadley. For years we have been working on improving worker safety and uh, work, uh, workplace safety procedures 
and in fact we last year were awarded an, an award for excellence in loss control because of our track record and our efforts to uh, identify and correct any uh, anything in our operations that may lead to worker uh, uh, safety issues. So we've been no slouch to this. We have some work to do. We'll be receiving professional training in the next couple of months in order to understand more fully what the requirements are, uh, but we're well positioned to adhere to those requirements. So that's the, that's the deal for unfunded mandates. Now let's talk a little bit about the kinds of projects that are coming up state-funded projects which are going to ultimately benefit the town and in most cases will either cost us nothing or we'll be able to do additional work for at a steep discount. The first is to improve pedestrian safety in the downtown center of Hadley. Uh, we used to have, or this is a state project so it's not us, the state used to have two crosswalks at Route 9, one at the S-curve by uh, Esalon Cafe and the other one closer to the donut sh uh, shop at the intersection of Middle Street and Route 9. Those two um, crosswalks were underpowered in terms of line of sight safety issues as well as signalization. So those two crosswalks have been eliminated and a new high intensity uh, activated crosswalk is being installed at the courthouse with better lines of sight, better signalization, better pedestrian control over that signalization. That project should be completed in the next couple of weeks. And uh, the other project that's ongoing right now is the uh, sidewalks that are being installed on Route 9 from Maple Street to the Amherst Line. That's being done at state cost and there's no cost to the town of Hadley for that. Uh, state projects involving transportation improvements on Route 9 include the following. The new rotary which is going to be installed at the Northampton side of the Coolidge Bridge that is scheduled currently for 2019 probably be delayed because of redesign issues and other permitting issues. But that will improve the, the flow of traffic and uh, lessen some of the traffic jams that we experience in Hadley. After the rotary is installed and operational, then the Bay Road Bridge is going to be replaced in its entirety. If you remember, we had to, not we, but the state had to repair the bridge, uh, and uh, uh, now they're going to replace it entirely because it's uh, designed and uh, not meeting our standards for bridge safety. So that whole bridge is going to be repaired. We will not have the weight restrictions that we experience with the, the repair uh, because we've already shored up that bridge so that it can take the weight, but that project is expected to happen in 2020. There is a town-owned water line that is uh, underneath that bridge and that is going to be improved as part of the contract with the state. And then finally in 2021, uh, the widened this Route 9 from the Town Hall to Maple Street. Uh, we're going to use that as an opportunity to improve infrastructure, water and sewer principally underneath that uh, Route 9. We know that we have some deficiencies both in terms of design and in terms of uh, erosion of uh, the water of the sewer line. We have applied for a grant for improvements of that grant is for $900,000 and that'll go a long way towards uh, replacing and repairing critical infrastructure underneath Route 9. So those are the state projects that uh, are going to benefit the town in terms of infrastructure, in terms of traffic safety, in terms of traffic flow, in terms of pedestrian safety, and also economic development. There's other projects that the town is actively engaged in. Let's turn our attention to that. We have the Moody Bridge Road upgrade. This is uh, a grant we received from the federal government for $220,000 to resurface a portion of Moody Bridge Road in the vicinity of the Silvio Oconte Wildlife Refuge. That project is underway and will take about two years to complete. 
The fire substation for which we just acquired property is under design right now, and that committee is working to put, to put together its, uh, a fire substation which will enhance uh, safety in the north end of town. The Senior Center and the Library are going to be meeting with the uh, Planning Board on Tuesday the 21st at 7 o'clock. That's an important meeting and that uh, will tell us where that, those two projects will be going. Zaturka Park. We are completing the re reconstruction of Zaturka Park. The final Phase 3 reconstruction was delayed because of legal requirements and because of weather, but that project is now active. We expect it to be completed this fall, and we'll turn that park over to the Park and Rec Commission for their use. Fire alarm and burglar alarms are going to be installed at the DPW and Town Hall. That project is underway. North Hadley Village Hall is up for sale. We are going to be meeting with our engineers uh, on Wednesday the 22nd in order to hear the final report on the subsurface survey of the dike. The dike is a critical piece of infrastructure that protects the center part of Hadley. Uh, it was built around 1866, right after the Civil War, rebuilt extensively after the 1938 and 1939 floods. Um, <clears throat> we actually don't have any plans for that dike in terms of construction material or con or construction design. So the survey will give us an uh, understanding of what the dike is made of, where its strengths, where are its deficiencies, and we'll be plugging the results of this report into the capital plan. The elementary school HVAC project is underway and is expected to be completed uh, by the time school starts. The elementary school pavilion is underway. Uh, we are applying for a number of grants. Uh, the most recent one will be the Housing Choice Small Town Capital Improvement Grants. We're applying for $95,000 to improve infrastructure to support affordable housing in the town of Hadley. Then finally, a couple of things. We have the state primary coming up on Tuesday, September 4th. We have, uh, we have lost our entire legislative delegation. If you think about uh, the Western Mass Caucus, which used to include uh, Ellen Story, John Seibeck, Steve Kulik, Peter Kokok, Senator Rosenberg, uh, they've all resigned or retired, or in Mr. Kokok's case, passed away. Um, so we need to rebuild that caucus and that coalition. We need po vo voter participation. So please remember that the primary is on Tuesday, the 4th of September. Please register to vote and please exercise your, your right to vote. Uh, it's critic critically important for the long-term interests of Western Massachusetts that we have a strong Western Massachusetts caucus to represent our needs and our concerns. Thank you very much for your, your patience while I go through this list. Again, this list is not expected to be exhaustive in scope or comprehensive in depth. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call at 413-586-0221 or drop me an email at admin at hadleyma.org. Thank you very much.